Hello everybody. My name is Bissonov Alexander. I'm professor at Kharkov National University of Radio Electronics and I'm uh, going to present you Cesis's named uh, Cattle Breed Identification and Life Weight Evaluation on the Basis of Machine Learning and Computer Vision. Authors are Alek Rudenko, Yuri Megel, Alexander Bissonov and Antonina Rybalko. Uh, this topic is not something new in agriculture, so uh, this problem exists for many years and there are a number of methods for uh, measuring of mice of uh, calves and uh, one of the most uh, known of them is the uh, method of Truchanovsky, which is presented on this slide. So this method is used to determine, determine uh, light weight of the adult cattle uh, by the formula number one. So uh, it's necessary to take some measurements of a cow. Uh, to, you have to measure direct uh, length of the trunk and uh, chest girth behind the shoulders. And then uh, having these uh, measures you may estimate live weight of a cow. Uh, also, there are some other methods exist. Uh, one of them is known in the literature like uh, pin bone method. Uh, so, body weight uh, uh, of a, of a cow is estimated by using the formula number two. And uh, on the pictures on this slide, you can see how it actually looks like in the real world. So um, all these methods they are very time consuming and energy consuming. Also you have to have a special allocated stuff for that. Uh, and uh, this measure type also should be soft enough so uh, a cow won't be annoyed by all this procedure. Um, so in general these methods are not good enough, uh, in, especially if we are talking about a modern farm. Uh, and uh, now, in nowadays, there are a number of methods of optimization of these processes. And of course, uh, many farmers uh, want to switch to something more advanced and to have and to optimize this process. And uh, actually, this thesis uh, uh, is devoted to the topic of the, of automatization of uh, live weight estimation of cars. So uh, we proposed a system uh, that uh, uh, doing this automatically by using machine learning and computer vision technologies. <coughs> Uh, first of all, it is necessary to build uh, a 3D mo model of a cow uh, to estimate its weight. Uh, to build this 3D model, uh, we use uh, pr principles of epipolar geometry that are presented on this slide. So, it, it, is, it is necessary to have two cameras. Uh, because uh, uh, one is not enough to build a 3D model. So we take pictures of a cow from two points of view. We know uh, internal matrices of cameras. Uh, and then we uh, project uh, the same points of a cow on one slide, on one picture and another. And then we can use uh, this data to build uh, a 3D model of a cow. Uh, to have it successfully, I mean to build this 3D model, we have firstly to find uh, our cow on the picture. So it could present there or it could not present at all. And for uh, finding a cow and uh, for uh, identification of its breed, we use uh, machine learning methods. Uh, actually, we use Masker CNN uh, neural network. Uh, that is uh, 
just first development of fast uh, RCNN uh, convolutional neural network that is presented on the left side of the slide uh, under letter A. So uh, fast RCNN it produces box uh, so output uh, of uh, this network is a box that uh, depict uh, object and classify it. Masker CNN uh, it's a next generation of convolutional neural networks and uh, it uh, uh, creates a mask so we can use this mask to uh, identify each class of the objects on the picture uh, at, with the pixel uh, accuracy so uh, we, by using masker CNN we know exactly to what class each pixel of the to which class of uh, objects each pixel on the picture is belong to so applying masker CNN to uh, the picture we can exactly identify uh, a place at the picture where the cow is present and uh, to identif identify its breed. So we have to know a breed of a cow because it's also influence on uh, light, life, weight, uh, uh, life weight estimation. So the overall system, uh, overall proposed system is presented uh, at this slide. So uh, you can see that uh, at the first stage we take these pictures from two cameras, uh, build this uh, 3D model. Uh, so we identify at each picture we identify by using masker CNN a cow and its breed. Uh, also, additionally, we used uh, Intel RealSense camera for 3D uh, for building 3D model. I have to say a couple words about this camera. So the first our idea was to use just uh, alone this camera, but its precision is not good enough. So we had to use uh, this epipolar geometry uh, because just uh, using 3D camera alone uh, didn't uh, give us uh, necessary accuracy. But we still use uh, 3D camera just to. Uh, correct uh, distance so we just uh, as extra source of data we can uh, build our models more precisely with this camera so when we collect all this data I mean about uh, cow's breed about uh, its uh, si uh, size and position uh, in space uh, we can use uh, uh, neural network model based on multi-layer perceptron uh, to estimate the mass uh, so life weight uh, of uh, the cow uh, and uh, other parameters if needed by using traditional uh, neural network backpropagation back neural network it's multi-layer perceptron and to adjust its parameters and so on uh, at uh, this slide you can see some results of recognition so on the top of the slide you see examples of of correct recognition so we identified a cow uh, mask is very precise so you can see that uh, accuracy is very high uh, and uh, we can why uh, with these results we can uh, precisely estimate the size of a cow and its breed and uh, uh, in the middle of the slide you see examples of false recognition or false positive recognition so uh, sometimes it happens uh, because of uh, lack of accuracy in the network or, or maybe because of different lightning or some other reasons sometimes it happens that uh, we recognize wrongly a cow and its position so in this case we have to skip this these uh, uh, pictures and uh, take a new one and finally uh, on the bottom of the slide you can see that uh, you can see pictures produced by 
Intel 3D camera. So it's uh, you see depth maps of uh, the taken pictures, and uh, by using this uh, data, we can more precisely estimate uh, distance uh, from uh, camera to a cow. And uh, at this slide, at table one, you see some uh, obtained results. So uh, there are four breeds of cows: Ayrshire, uh, Holstein, Jersey, and Red Steppe. And uh, parameters of these cows estimated by a proposed system. So you see that we calculated dimensions of uh, cows, we measured the length of the body and just girls uh, in centimeters, you see. Uh, uh, also next uh, uh, row is uh, quali qualification weight, so we estimated weight and then uh, you see uh, different uh, er errors, so absolute error, uh, standard deviation of obtained sizes and uh, other parameters. Uh, I want to take a look on this uh, numbers of correct recognition and numbers of false positives. So for each, uh, for each breed we obtained some uh, wrong uh, Recognitions in case of Aishir it's 39, in case of Holstein it's 82, and in case of Jersey breed it's 60, 76, and in case of Red Steppe it's uh, 61 wrong uh, pictures. Uh, and uh, you see that the number of correct recognition is much higher, so about 10% of uh, uh, of uh, pictures uh, are with some problems. So, but in general accuracy of the proposed system is very high, so we were satisfied with the results, especially that uh, we can make all measures absolutely autonomously, so we don't have to touch cows to measure them, to annoy them, and uh, all this uh, just working without uh, involvement of firm staff, what is very convenient for everybody, and uh, actually I think it's uh, very important and could be used uh, in many agricultural areas. So now short conclusion of our work. So uh, the proposed method for measuring cattle using neural network image processing algorithms allows modern farmers to quickly and accurately measure the weight of the animal as well as, as, well as recognize its breed, saving time and reducing effort without compromising the habitat and disturbing livestock growth. This is possible because the method allows studying cows both in corrals and pastures without interfering with their normal behavior. The proposed approach can be used to replace traditional methods that use direct observation and measurement, which adversely uh, affect the behavior of animals. The system can be widely used in the management of modern farming and the accuracy and performance of the proposed methodology were tested with the participation of the experts and the same measurements were also carried out by the farm staff who confirmed the effectiveness of the proposed system. Thank you very much for your attention. I think it was interesting for you. Uh, have a nice day. See you.